When you see a beautiful little book like this, you want to know what stories it holds. Isn't it gorgeous? So tiny. It's handmade, and although it looks really old, I don't think it's very old at all, but I know somebody who makes books just like this, in fact, smaller. She's pretty talented. She's also lovely. This is Leia. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hey, thanks for coming in, Leia. Thank you. Now, you didn't make this one, did you? No, no, we bought that one. But you made the one around your neck? I did. Well done. They're quite tricky because it's very, very small. Yeah, <laughs> but it's not as hard as it looks. looks. Yeah. What's the smallest one you've ever made? Um, probably this one here that my mum made. Okay. But, yeah. That is tiny. But pretty simple, you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, how about we find out how to do it? How do you oh. make one, Leia? So you want to start out with just a piece of leather. Yep. So I've got one of these, so just easy to cut. Um, if you want to, you can get your parents to help you cut thicker leather, but that's a bit harder. I'm just sure. going to use one of these. Okay. So first you want to see how big you want it. If you want just a book like that, you'll want it quite big, but I'm just going to make a small necklace one. So... I'm just going to cut it, maybe that sort of size. Sure. So you need pretty sharp scissors. Yeah, you do. Do you need to have a pretty straight line? Yeah, pretty straight, but it's not that. It doesn't really matter too much. Okay. So, yeah, before you cut the end off, you just want to do a test. So it folds into three, so... Two and three. Yep, that looks about right. Okay, so you've got your piece, and then, so just double check it folds into three. Mm -hmm. Cool, so you can leave it like that, but if you want to have it curved or something at the end, like that one, then you can do that. So you could do a scalloped edge or yeah. a zigzag edge or. Cool, so you've got your edge, and then you want to get a small pad like this. And so you just give it a bit of a measure how big you want it. And then you'll probably want a parent to help you cut that because it's pretty. Yeah, so. Sure. Leia, do cool. you need to cut through the cardboard at the back as well? Yeah, because yep. that's the part that's going to be holding onto your book. Oh, right, okay. So it's a good base foundation. Yeah. And. Cut it through here. Yeah, that and should be good. Cut it down like this. Mm-hmm. Cool. There we go. Cool. So you just want to get some glue, fast drying if you can, and then just put it on the back of your book. Okay. So this is kind of tricky, so you get it right in the middle there. Mm -hmm. Press down. So just press it down until you think, until it's sticking well. And then, so you just fold that side over and the next side. So you've got the first part of your little book. Fantastic. And then you just want to get a wool needle and a bit of string, so I'm just using some from a recycled necklace. Great. Um, but you can use stretchy string too. So, Leah, when you're saying a wool needle, is it like a big, thick darning needle? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, it's got yeah. a big eye. Yeah. Makes it so easier it's... for threading big thread. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. Just pull that through a little. Mm -hmm. And then, so got that then you just want to poke it through that there so about a centimeter away not too close I'll give you a cork to put it through cool yep oh is it gonna work yeah put the pad it's down here so. in case you need to oh yeah lean on it cool yay got Six, it six <laughs> high five awesome yeah. <laughs> so you've got that through so you pull it right through. Cool. 
So at the end, you just want to tie a little knot. Yeah, so kind of close to the end, but not, yeah, I guess you can cut it again. Mm -hmm. And it just so. has to be big enough so it doesn't slip through the hole. Yeah. Yeah? So that should be fine. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just cut the end there. Cool. And then you fold your other half in and wrap that around as many times as you like. I'll just get mine maybe like that. And then snip the rest of that off. Cool. Right. And then at the back here, you can just put that around the end. Tuck it under? Yep. So it doesn't unravel? Yeah. Mm. Well done. Cool. So you've got that as a little book if you just want it like that. Or if you want to, you can make it a necklace. So I'll show you how to do that. So then you just get another piece of string. I'll get one of these this time. <laughs> a little thinner? Yeah. Oh, so, and you can get this elasticated cord from a $2 shop, can't you? Yeah, Great. yeah. Got it. Well done. Okay. So, we've got that. Make a little hole at the top. So, again, not too close to the top. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, you've got that there. Mm-hmm. And then just get it as long as you want it. You can take the needle out. And then if you like, if you want to, um, you can just put some beads on it. So I've just got some ones from the $2 shop, not the expensive ones. They look expensive. They, look they do. Yeah. So I'll just put And a quite few antiques. Of those. Yeah. And then, yeah, you can put some letters on it if you like. Mm -hmm. Bells, I don't know. I'll just leave mine with that. So then you just gonna tie a knot at the end and a simple knot will do. Great. Yeah. Cool. You can just trim the ends. And so now you have got your little book necklace. A lovely, lovely gift. And you could even write a little note on that yeah. first page. You are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> now, we'll put a list of instructions up on the website. Head to suzy.co.nz, a PDF of all the information there, and some photographs as well. Cool. And have fun making it. Very cool. Thanks, Leia. Thank you. Remember, if you're enjoying these clips, like, subscribe, maybe even share. And we'll have a new guest next week. For more information, head to suzy.co.nz. See ya.